Hey, what's up, YouTube's manager here. Today I'm doing my full review on the all new HP Pavilion Mini. All right, let's get started. So for early 2015, HP introduces the all new HP desktop minis. You can get anywhere from an Intel Celeron processor all the way to an Intel Core i3 processor. The all new HP Stream Mini and HP Pavilion Mini make it an affordable way to get a Windows box without breaking the bank. This mini desktop is extremely lightweight and compact. The dimensions are 5.71 inches by 2.13 inches tall. The weight comes in at 1.46 pounds with the exception of the HP Stream, which comes in at 2.9 pounds. The design and build quality of the all new HP mini desktop has been good. On the exterior you got a snow white finish and on the top you got a silver finish with an HP logo on top. Now for the HP Stream mini desktop, that one comes in a blue finish. For pricing, the baseline HP Stream Mini is $179 US, the mid-tier is $319 US, and the high-end model is $449 US. You get a good amount of ports with the HP Pavilion Mini. Here goes your Kensington security slot, headset microphone jack combo, gigabit ethernet port, two USB 3.0 ports, full-size HDMI port, display port, AC power port, and your exhaust port for your fan. On the side, you got an SD card reader, in the front, you got your power button and an additional two USB 3.0 ports. And for those of you that like the dual monitor setup, you can hook up one via HDMI and the second monitor you can hook it up via display port. Unlike the Mac Mini, HP is also including a full-size wireless keyboard that is battery powered. The key travel and tactile feels good, however, the design and build quality just feels a tad cheap. But hey, it's better than nothing. And that's not all, HP also included a wireless optical mouse with your HP Mini. The HP optical mouse has been performing pretty smooth without any issues. Simply connect this USB dongle to the back of your HP mini for wireless connectivity. There are three processors to choose from. The first is an Intel Celeron 2957U clocked at 1.4 GHz. And the mid-tier which I have here is an Intel Pentium 3558U clocked at 1.7 GHz. And finally, there is a high-end model which features the Intel Core i3-4025U clocked at 1.9 GHz. Let's get back to the mid-tier version which I have here. Like I said, it's a Pentium clock at 1.7 GHz from day-to-day -day workloads like word processing, watching 1080p video clips, to web browsing, this processor was quick and responsive. I think the mid-tier is the perfect balance between price and performance. With that being said, you can also buy the HP Stream Mini, which retails for $179.99 US, but the limitation is the Celeron processor and a 32GB eMMC SSD. I'll have to do some research on the baseline HP Stream Mini to see if you can attach a standard 2.5-inch hard drive. And in case you're wondering, all the processors in the HP Mini desktops are all based on the Haswell architecture. Here's some Geekbench 364-bit version results for the Intel Pentium 3558U. For the single core score, I got 1,575. And for the multi-core score, I got 2,798. With these kind of scores, you can expect good performance from your day-to-day -day applications with the Intel Pentium 3558U. And for Cinebench R15, I got a CPU score of 124 CB. Now for those of you that want the best performance, I would recommend upgrading to the high-end model, which features the Intel Core i3-4025U. That model retails for $449 US. Alright, let's go and test out the HP Pavilion Mini in action here. Let's go ahead and launch the Health and Fitness app. Let's scroll here and see how responsive it is. As you can see here, very smooth. Alright, let's go and check out the sports section. So far, the CPU is smooth like butter. Alright, let's go back to the desktop and let's try to launch a website like MSN and test it out. Check our Internet Explorer. Let's type in msn.com. This is live in action right here. It took about three to four seconds to load that page. Not too bad. Let's try to scroll down. As demonstrated here, the HP Pavilion Desktop Mini performed basic applications without any hiccups. What about streaming 1080p video clips like Netflix or YouTube? Here I'm giving you a demo of the Beat Special Edition laptop I recently reviewed. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's me, Andrew, here. Today I'm doing my full review on the all-new HP Pavilion Beats Special Edition. All right, let's get started. The HP Pavilion Beats is a special edition laptop that features Beats audio speakers, obviously, a unique two-tone black and red finish, a red backlit keyboard, kind of like... So for those of you that like to watch full HD content on Netflix and YouTube, rest assured the Intel Pentium is up to the challenge. Now, for those of you that want to do more intense video and photo work, I would recommend upgrading to the high-end model, which features the Intel HD 4400 for your graphics. What about the performance of the Intel HD graphics found on the Intel Pentium series? For the 3D Mark Advanced Edition, for Skydiver, I got a score of 1,415. For CloudGate, 2,261. And for iStorm Extreme, I got a score of 17,179. With the Intel HD Graphics Haswell Edition, many of today's high-end games will not be playable. However, light-duty games like Minecraft, League of Legends, and World of Warcraft will be playable without any issues. 
Next up I have a demo of Minecraft running on this desktop with Optifine installed. Let's see how this baby performs. Right now I'm averaging around 35 to 40 frames per second. So far the lowest I saw was around 28 frames per second. This is pretty good considering I'm running at full HD. And for those of you that have a big panel TV at home, simply connect it via HDMI and enjoy the Minecraft experience. The Intel Pentium 3558U is very power efficient. And that doesn't surprise me at all since it's based on the Haswell architecture. On average, the CPU temperature were around 52 to 54 degrees Celsius, with a maximum of 59 degrees Celsius during extended Minecraft gameplay. You get 4GB of PC3-12800 RAM. For most tasks, the 4GB of RAM was just enough to keep the system from lagging during my test. I had 7 tabs open simultaneously, as well as a YouTube video clip playing on the next tab, and the total memory use was at around 62%. Once I closed all the tabs and the YouTube video clip, the memory use was at around 30%. Is the HP Mini upgradable? Let's find out. Simply remove these three Phillips screws and lift up here. And boom, there goes your components. There goes your USB 3.0 ports on the front, your hard disk on top. On the side, you got one sodium dim slot occupied by the four gigabytes of RAM. And it looks like there's an additional dim slot. The 3558U can support up to 16 gigabytes of RAM. Here's the back side where you got your vent and heatsink and all your ports. And the right side looks like your Broadcom 802.11 Wi-Fi. Let me get a better focus for you. To upgrade your hard drive, simply remove these black 4 Phillips screws right here. Next up, lift up gently and you'll have access to the hard drive cable. Here's a better view of the components inside. There goes your Broadcom 802.11 A, B, G, and N. The connection and signal string on the Broadcom 802.11 has been solid. No issues at all. So there you have it. That was a quick look at the internal components of the HP Pavilion Mini. The HP Pavilion Mini features a 500GB hard drive running at 5400 RPM. The performance is, eh, okay. I would recommend upgrading to the SSD for the best performance. The HP Mini features a single fan. With basic productivity, you can barely hear the fan running. However, fire up a game and you'll definitely hear the fan running. Don't worry though, it's not loud like the regular desktops. With an attractive price point and good performance, the HP Pavilion Mini makes it an easy to recommend desktop. You get an efficient Intel Haswell processors, upgradable RAM and hard drive, and to top that off, HP even throws in a wireless keyboard and mouse. Alright guys, this wraps up my full review on the all-new HP Pavilion Mini. If you enjoyed this review, please be sure to hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to be notified of the latest videos just like this one. Alright, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.